Good evening. Today, we will be covering the post-market update dated the 22nd of October, 2024. Extended selling in the broader markets, poor global queues and weak sectoral performance weighed on the Indian benchmark indices on October 22, dragging the nifty below 24,500. At close, the Sensex was down 930.55 points or 1.15% at 80,220.72, and the Nifty was down 309.00 points or 1.25% at 24,472.10. Adani Enterprises, M&M, Bharat Electronics, Coal India, Tata Steel were among the top losers on the Nifty, while the only gainer was Isisai Bank. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Hyundai Motor India Limited shares further extended their losses by over 6% on October 22 after it made a muted market debut against the issue price of 1,960 rupees. Hyundai India share was listed at 1,931 rupees per share on the BSE, reflecting a decline of 1.47% from the issue price on the BSE. Later, the stock made some recovery and hit a high of 1,968.80 rupees, up 0.44%. But, the counter failed to carry the momentum and further tanked 6.12% to 1,840 rupees apiece on the BSE. Shares of the Indian arm of South Korean automaker made its debut at 1,934 rupees, down 1.32% on the NSE. Later, in the trade shares of the firm tumbled 6% to 1,842 rupees. The company's market valuation stood at RS1 5303.85 crore on the NSE at around 2.20 pm against RS1 5290.52 crore during the morning trade, a decline of 1986.67 crore in market cap. In traded volume terms, 13.99 lakh shares of the firm were traded at the BSE and 2.31 crore shares on the NSE. Despite the discounted listing, Hyundai Motor India's strong fundamentals, being the second-largest passenger vehicle manufacturer in India and its strategic focus on the SUV segment, continue to support its long-term growth prospects, said Shivani Nayati, head of wealth. Swastika Investmart Limited shares of Ortham Investment and Infrastructure nosedived over 12% to 1,635 rupees on the bourses on October 22 after the company reported a disappointing performance in the second quarter of financial. Year 2025 The non-banking financial company reported a sharp 49.2% year-on-year drop in consolidated revenue from operations which stood at 1,092.62 rupees crore for quarter 2 financial year 2025, compared to 2,151.75 rupees crore in the same period last year. Sequentially, revenue also declined 22.3% from 1,416 rupees crore posted in quarter 1 financial year 2025. Profit after tax, also known as net profit, plunged 56.5% on year to 843 rupees crore down from 1940 rupees crore in the same quarter of the previous fiscal on a quarter on quarter basis Ortham's net profit was down 23.1% from 1097 rupees crore in the previous quarter last week the company entered into a purchase cum shareholders agreement with India SME Asset Reconstruction Company to buy 79% of the expanded share capital of ISARP. The company will purchase 13 crore equity shares, representing 56.5% of the expanded share capital of ISARP for 176.8 rupees crore, and 5.235 crore shares, representing 23% of the expanded share capital of ISARP for 85.3 rupees crore. City Union Bank shares surged 12% during the morning deals as the private sector lenders' earnings show for the quarter was above expectations on October 22. The bank posted a net profit of Rs 285.2 crore for quarter 2 financial year 2025, a 1.6% rise from Rs 280.6 Indian rupees crore in the same period last year. Net interest income climbed 8.2% on year to 582.5 rupees crore, up from 538.4 for rupees crore, building on the 4.5% growth seen in the first quarter of financial year 2025. 
the growth in NII was driven by higher lending and steady interest margins. In quarter two financial year 2025, operational expenses reached 381 Indian rupees crore, up from 334 Indian rupees crore in quarter two financial year 2024. In the first half of financial year 2025, operational expenditures reached 744 Indian rupees crore, up from 634 Indian rupees crore in the same period previous year. In the first half of financial year 2025, the operational profit was 802 Indian rupees crore, compared to 801 Indian rupees crore in the same period previous year. Chinese consumer electronics major Hisense has tied up with Epac Durable for a manufacturing unit in India to make air conditioners and appliances for domestic as well as export markets, sending share price of the AC maker higher by 5% in early trade. Epac Durable, a major player in the room air conditioner manufacturing business in India, will be making several critical RAC components, small appliances, and some models of washing machines for Hisense in India. This tie-up will also introduce Hisense's latest home appliances to the Indian market, and the company said it aspires to become among the five brands in air conditioner and appliances in India in the next five years. Epac hopes to leverage from Hisense's technological expertise along with premium design capabilities. Pankaj Rana, CEO of Hisense India said, this partnership with combines Hisense's technological expertise with EPACK's manufacturing capabilities. Mitcon Consultancy and Engineering Services Limited in daily timeframe is trading around 126.62 points with a change of 19.99% and is trading with a net volume of around 76.571,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 118.95 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 55.95. Marine Trans India Limited in daily time frame is trading around 27.65 points with a change of 19.96% and is trading with a net volume of around 84,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 25.42 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 56.23. Unichem Laboratories Limited in daily time frame is trading around 855.75 points with a change of 12.9% and is trading with a net volume of around 312.778 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 746.70 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 81.73. For the stock recommendation we have, Isisai Bank Limited looks good and can be bought at 1,268 rupees, keeping a stop loss of 1,239 rupees and a target of 1,302 rupees. You can reach us via phone, WhatsApp, or email using the information listed on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. And, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing!